Hello everyone. So if you've been having a really hard time getting OBS to show anything except a black screen under sources, I think I finally found a solution. So first off, I used this program months, maybe a year ago, and I never had an issue, and suddenly I just opened it and I ran into this problem. I spent quite a while trying to get this to go away, and this is what I've found. So first looking at NVIDIA Control Panel, you go to Program Settings, and no matter what setting I choose here, it just it didn't seem to do anything. Then I went on a further test, I went to the BIOS and I turned hybrid graphics off and I left only the Intel chip. I rebooted and OBS worked perfectly. Now when I switched hybrid graphics back on and I rebooted again, it still worked. And at this point, instead of obviously just being happy it worked and leaving it as it is, I decided to go back in the NVIDIA control panel, add it here and play with these settings, after which it immediately stopped working. And then nothing I could do could get it back working again and I, and I, I just I really didn't want to re reboot and switch to graphics and all that again so I just, I just wanted to come up with a solution of how to get this to work and I also noticed that in the bottom right hand here the OBS would always show up under the NVIDIA icon where it's using the GPU and right now it's showing this but if I were to stop recording it would not show it so uh, when you just start OBS it would immediately show that it's using the GPU while right now it's showing it but it's only during recording so I could just tell that it was not using the Intel card and something was just not right here. So, so the solution is actually super simple. You go to settings, system, display, and then you go to graphics settings, you add OBS, you go to options, and you select the Intel graphics. Click save and the problem was just fixed. I, I can't believe it was that simple, but I'm not sure I did upgrade the graphics on this computer and I never reinstalled Windows. I don't know maybe if there's something broken because of that in control panel, but nothing I did here. It just it, it didn't seem to affect I don't know, it really didn't seem to do much. So this just forced the app to start up with Intel. Everything works perfectly. As you can see, it's clearly using the GPU because it says it's using it for recording right now. I no longer have a black screen and Yeah, spent quite a long time just trying to get a clean fix for this where I didn't have to do any kind of reboots, anything strange, any, that's it, just one setting, Intel GPU, and you're good to go. Hope this helps.